What's up guys, I'm MD Shady, and in today's video we're going to be checking out my top 10 favorite Clone Wars Funko Pops. So, let's check it out. So, like I just mentioned, in today's video will be a top 10 list of my favorite Star Wars, the Clone Wars Funko Pops. There's not too many, but there are a really good amount of awesome Clone Wars Pops. So, let's get right into it with number 10. So, coming in at number 10 on my list is Wrecker. This is a really cool pop. I really love the detail that has gone into this pop. The detail on his helmet itself as well as the body and I love the pose itself it really shows what kind of character he is in the show and I think they did a really good job with this obviously he's a little bit more well known for Bad Batch but still cool and he was in the Clone Wars so it's an awesome pop and I think mostly the detail is what brought this onto the list. Coming in at number nine on my list I have the Red Saber series Savage Opress. This is a really cool pop. I love the Red Saber series. I thought that it was very well done though this isn't actually like a Clone Clone Wars pop so I feel like that's mostly why it didn't come super high on the list and is stuck at number nine but besides that this is a really cool pop he is kind of in that like turned position which I don't necessarily really love but he's an awesome character and I'm glad that we do have this pop of him I hope that Funko does do another one down the line and that would probably make it on the list rather than this one just because it is from the Red Saber series and I think they did a really good job on this pop when it comes to the facial expression on him the way that uh, his face looks, of course, he is Darth Maul's brother, so they nailed it very well with this Funko Pop. Coming in at number eight on my list, I have Hondo Onaka. What a cool character. I loved him in the Clone Wars. If you don't know who he is, he's a like pirate in the show, and I love all the pirate characters from the Clone Wars. I thought they were all really cool, but Hondo is especially cool, and the detail on this pop is phenomenal. There's so much with like the wrinkling of his skin. His attire itself looks really, really cool, but the reason why that the this didn't come so high up on this list. He's just not a super memorable character. I feel like there's a lot of other characters that people know more, though I do love this character and I think the pop is great. I felt like it couldn't come much higher than this just because it's it's just one of the pirate characters, though he was so cool. Coming in at number seven on my list, I have the GameStop exclusive two pack of Darth Maul and Ahsoka Tano. I like the way that Darth Maul looks. I was going through the different Darth Maul pops when it comes to the Clone Wars and they're kind of similar in a sense. You have the Darth Maul with the double saber, you have the Darth Maul with the saber as well as the dark saber, and then you have this one in this two pack where he has the double saber out but he's also in more of like a battle pose which is really cool. And then you have the Ahsoka which I think looks great as well in this two pack. It's really cool that you can get this two pack considering it was an awesome lightsaber duel between them and I think Ahsoka looks great but I'm really mostly focusing on the Darth Maul with this two pack. I think that that is one of the better Darth Mauls that we've seen. Coming in at number six, I have Jar Jar Binks. This pop is awesome. I really enjoy this. It's definitely a lot better than the OG Jar Jar Binks that we got. It just looks a little bit more active. He, he has more of like a facial expression on him. I love the way that they went with the eyes, how they're kind of sticking up a bit higher than what we've seen with original Jar Jar Binks. And I just personally really like the attire of Jar Jar Binks when it comes to the Clone Wars. I love the purple like sleeves that he has and his facial expression with this one is really great. This is a pop that I don't own in my collection, but I feel like I probably will pick it up at some point because Jar Jar Binks is really cool and the Clone Wars version is really awesome as well. But besides that, yeah, I just think that this is a really great pop. There is some other cool Jar Jars that we've seen now, but I feel like at the time this was definitely the best when it comes to comparing that OG one to the Clone Wars pop. Halfway done the list now, coming in at number five on my list, I have the Count Dooku and Anakin Skywalker two pack. I guess I'll start off with Anakin Skywalker. This is a pretty good pop of Anakin. I do think it is better than the single one. He's in more of like a battle pose, which is really nice. And with the other one, it is a little bit basic, though Funko did do a great job on that pop to make it look like Clone Wars Anakin. And then moving on to the Count Dooku out of this two pack. Wow, what a great pop. It looks just like how Count Dooku looked in the Clone Wars, how he has such a long face with that long beard. I think that they did the best that they could do with that, with keeping the same normal shape of a Funko Pop and not making it kind of elongated. So I think that was a great job and having these two in a two pack just makes so much sense. You get to see Count Dooku and Anakin fight again, whereas you don't see it with the mainline movies. So that's a really great thing and it came together perfectly well in Funko Pop form. Coming in at number four on my list, I have the Obi-Wan Kenobi. And this is just the common one. I love this pop, I think it looks great. And I think the reason for that is because this is my favorite attire of Obi-Wan Kenobi in any 
of Obi-Wan Kenobi's appearances in any of the Star Wars films or shows. And I don't know why that is, I just really like the kind of like clone costume that he has where he still kind of has pieces of like a cloak onto it. I think that that's great. I also really loved the way that Obi-Wan's head looked in the show. I think that it was really great, makes him very ginger, which is kind of interesting, but also makes sense. And overall, it's just a really cool attire and they made it really, really well in Funko Pop form. I love the way the body looks. The head is perfect. I mean, there's not much more you could do with that to do a perfect Obi-Wan head for when it comes to the Clone Wars. I think that it's a lot better than even some of the heads that we've seen with like the standard movie Obi-Wans. This one just stands out so much to me. And when you see it, you know for sure that that is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Coming in at number three on my list, I have the Hot Topic exclusive Ahsoka Tano. This is by far my favorite Ahsoka figure that we've seen for the Clone Wars. I mean, it's great. I love this attire. That is the attire that I always think of when it comes to the Clone Wars. This is from, of course, like the earlier seasons of the Clone Wars. Basically, when I grew up watching it, that's the way that I have my like Hasbro figure of Ahsoka Tano with that, where she kind of has like the crop top, I guess it is. I don't know. I just love this one. The other ones are really good. We have like the one where she's in the blue attire and then the like almost the same attire that she is in this one, but it's just a little bit like longer. There's more of her being covered up with it, but I really enjoyed the Hot Topic exclusive one. I love how she has the like backwards blade, kind of her like signature way to hold a lightsaber. I think that that's super great. The pose is perfect. The head looks really good. I also like the like headdress that she wears. I think that's really cool. I, I like that one better than any of the other ones that she wore throughout the series. And I think that it worked well with this Funko Bob. So overall, this Ahsoka is definitely by far my favorite. It's just what I remember Ahsoka looking like when it comes to the Clone Wars series. Coming in at number two on my list, I have Cad Bane. This pop is amazing. All Cad Bane pops are really, really cool. I mean, he's such a badass character. But with this one, I think it's really good. I like the way that with the head sculpt, they kind of have some of the wrinkles there and his like alien-esque face. The red eyes pop very well on that blue, which is what you need to see. And then of course he does have his signature like cowboy hat, which is really, really cool. Then the body itself looks great as well. There's a bunch of details with all the stuff that he wears on his chest as well as the way that his pants are and his boots is really cool. And then something that needs to be mentioned with this figures is that he does have the dual blasters, which is so awesome. Another signature look for Cad Bane. So overall, this might be one of my favorite Cad Bane pops, but it is uh, specified towards the Clone Wars rather than any other appearances that he may have made in the Star Wars canon. And this is a pop that I don't think I actually own surprisingly because it's just so great. Of course, coming in at number two, it must be something that I really appreciate really really like and that is true so I will have to find this pop at some time because it's just so great and Cad Bane is just such a cool character. Now before we get on to number one my favorite Star Wars Clone Wars Funko Pop I actually have an honorable mention and that honorable mention is Gar Saxon. This is a really cool pop. I don't think there's quite enough going on with it to make it onto the list itself but it's still a really cool pop. I love how the helmet has those horns popping up and then his blaster looks really cool as well. I actually will do a second honorable mention and that is of the Yoda from the Clone Wars. This is a really cool Yoda pop. I think that they did a really good job of making this pop look just like he looked like in the Clone Wars because Yoda looked a lot different in the Clone Wars than he's looked in let's say any of the prequel movies or let's say all the way going to The Empire Strikes Back when he's getting old and he's kind of dying at that point. So Yoda's had a lot of different looks but with this Clone Wars one I think they nailed it for exactly what he looked like in the show. And now finally moving on to number one my favorite Star Wars Clone Wars Funko Pop and it is a pop that I have in my collection. And that pop is Captain Rex from New York Comic Con 2018. This pop is amazing and I guess I can show you all the way around there. There's the side of the box. Here's the back of the box where it shows off I believe the first wave of Clone Wars pops. Then there's the other side of the box there and then going back to the front. What an awesome pop. And if you guys haven't heard the story, basically back in 2018, DK picked this up for me for my birthday and he got it for basically retail, which was I think about $18 Canadian at the time. And now this pop has gone crazy in price. 
I haven't checked in a while, so I don't know exactly where it lands, but I know it was well into the 500s in Canadian dollars. But the value isn't exactly why I love this pop. It is cool to have a super valuable pop, but Captain Rex is an awesome character by far. Uh, mine, and I'm sure a lot of you can agree, your favorite clone because he's just so different. He's such a leader. He's so cool. He does have the dual blasters with this Funko Pop, and I don't know. I just love this, and it has a lot of sentimental value to me as well considering DK did buy me this for my birthday, and it's just an awesome pop to have in my collection. I display it with a lot of my other Grail Pops, and yeah, so expensive, but like I said, that doesn't really matter to me. It's more of uh, the story that I have behind this pop. But anyways, guys, that's all the time I have for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to smash the like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. May the force be with you. Peace in, peace out.